Magic Treehouse Fact Tracker Space. A nonfiction companion to Magic Treehouse number eight, Midnight on the Moon by Will Osborne and Mary Pope Osborne. Chapter one, Astronomy. People have always been interested in space. Cave people painted pictures of the night sky on the walls of their caves. Ancient Egyptians believed there were sun gods and moon goddesses. The ancient Chinese built stone towers so they could study the sky more closely. Over the centuries, people began to write down what they learned from looking at the skies. They gave the planets names. They made maps of the stars. They noted changes in the sky from month to month and from year to year. Ancient Aztec calendar. The first calendars were based on changes people saw in the heavens. The study of the skies became the very first science. This science is called astronomy. Astron-a-me. The word astronomy comes from the Greek language. It means naming the stars. Ancient astronomy. Nearly 2,000 years ago, an astronomer in Egypt named Ptolemy, Ptolemy wrote the first books about astronomy. In his books, Ptolemy described how he thought the stars and planets moved in the sky. Ptolemy, AD 90 to 165. CE 90 to 165. Ptolemy believed that Earth was at the center of everything. He thought the sun, stars, and everything else in the sky traveled around Earth. For over a thousand years, nearly everyone accepted Ptolemy's ideas as facts. They did not know that Ptolemy's facts were completely wrong. Copernicus. Nicholas Copernicus, Nicolaus Copernicus, was a Polish astronomer. He lived nearly 1,400 years after Ptolemy. Copernicus, AD 1473 to 1543, or CE 1473 to 1543. Copernicus studied Ptolemy's ideas for a long time. He knew something was not right. Copernicus figured out that the sun does not travel around Earth. It's really the other way around. Earth and all the other planets travel around the sun. Copernicus was afraid people would not accept his ideas. So he waited until he was about to die to let the world know what he thought. In 1543, he published a book that said Ptolemy was wrong. Copernicus's fears came true. People were furious when they read his book. They liked everything that, they liked thinking that Earth was the center of everything. For many years, it was against the law even to talk about Copernicus's ideas. The few people who believed Copernicus kept their belief secret. Oh, wow, Copernicus died just a few months after his book was published. Galileo. One person who believed Copernicus was an Italian astronomer named Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei. Galileo was sure Copernicus was right, but he didn't know how to prove it. Galileo, 1564 to 1642. One day, Galileo heard about a new invention. The invention was what we now call a telescope. The telescope made distant things seem closer. Galileo couldn't believe that no one had used a telescope to study the sky. He was so excited by this idea that he built a telescope of his own. The first telescopes were used mostly on battlefields. Galileo's telescope. When Galileo peered through his telescope into the night sky, modern astronomy was born. Galileo saw rings around the planet Saturn. He saw moons circling the planet Jupiter, Saturn, Jupiter. He saw the planet Venus seem to change shape just like our moon, Venus. And he saw that there were millions and millions of stars, far more than anyone had ever imagined. 
The longer Galileo looked into the heavens, the more certain he became that Earth was not the center of everything. Galileo studied the sky for the next 30 years. He wrote many books about his discoveries. Near the end of his life, he was arrested for teaching his ideas to others. He died trying to show people that per Copernicus was right. Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton, 1643 to 1727. Isaac Newton was an English scientist. He made many discoveries. His most important discovery was the law of gravity. Gravity is the invisible force that pulls everything on earth toward the ground. Without gravity, we'd all float away. Newton thought it was gravity that kept the moon traveling around earth. He thought the sun might have gravity too. That would explain why earth and the other planets kept traveling around the sun instead of flying off into space. Newton's ideas about gravity helped people understand and accept the theories of Copernicus and Galileo. Theories are well-tested scientific explanations. Early astronomers, Ptolemy, Copernicus, Galileo, Newton. The big mistake. Copernicus, Galileo, and Newton were on the right path to understanding space, but they made one big mistake. They all thought that everything in space traveled around the sun. Over time, astronomers have learned much more. They've learned that far from being the center of everything, the sun is just another star among billions and billions of stars. And they've learned that Earth is a tiny speck in a universe so big, it's almost impossible to imagine. Jack and Annie present telescopes, then and now. Hans Lippershey, Hans Lippershey, invented the telescope in 1608. Lippershey was a Dutch eyeglass maker. Stories say he got the idea by watching his children play with lenses for his eyeglasses. Sir Isaac Newton invented a telescope that used mirrors. A mirror makes it possible for bigger lenses to see farther without distortion. Newton's telescope. Telescopes that use mirrors are called reflecting telescopes. James Webb Space Telescope, 2021. The Hubble Space Telescope is a telescope that travels in space. Oh, sorry, I added that in there because it was a new one, not in this book. <laughs> it sends pictures of planets, stars, and galaxies back to computers on Earth. The Hubble can see objects that are billions and billions of miles away. The Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990. The biggest telescopes in the world are located in Chile. They are operated by the European S Southern Observatory and are linked by computers. The combined power of these telescopes is strong enough to see a person waving to Earth from the moon. Hello, Jack! <laughs>